based on the number of strings in the language a language can be classified as two types an empty language a non empty language an empty language can be defined as the language which does not contain any string so we can write the language as an empty set the set doesn't contain any string the number of strings in the language is zero it doesn't even contain the empty string this is epsilon even epsilon is also not there in this language so such a language is called an empty language we can denote it as phi l equal to phi is an empty language on the other hand a non empty language can be defined as a language that contains at least one string so the number of strings in a language is at least one such a language is called non empty a non empty language is again classified as finite and infinite languages a finite language is a language that contains finite number of strings where each string is of finite length like for example a b a b b a or a b epsilon b a or just epsilon these are all finite languages where we have finite number of strings where each where length of each string is finite on the other hand we have infinite languages also an infinite language is defined as a language which contains infinite number of strings where each string is of finite length like l1 is equal to a power n such that n is greater than or equal to 1 so this language contains strings like a a a a a a a a a a and so on each string is of finite length but we don't know how many strings are there in this language the number of strings in this language are infinite such a language is called infinite language another example for infinite languages is a power n b power m a power n where n is greater than or equal to 1 m is greater than or equal to 2 this is also an infinite language where we don't know how many strings are there in this language but each string is of finite length from the above discussion we can say that an empty language is finite because the number of strings in empty language is zero which is finite so we can call empty language is a finite language if a language contains only one string that is epsilon or empty string then it is a non empty language because it has one string so for example l3 l3 is having only one string which is empty string so l3 is a non empty language let's see the regularity of languages based on the number of strings in the language so if l is equal to 5 if the language is empty it is a regular language it is a finite language and it is regular because we can draw a dfa or a write a regular expression for such languages if we can draw a dfa or a regular expression 
for any given language we can say that that language is regular and any finite language is regular because we can we can write a dfa or a regular expression for every given finite language so the finite language is always regular from this venn diagram we can see that every regular language is a subset of context free language which is a subset of context sensitive language which is a subset of recursive enumerable language we can say that if a language is regular it is context free language also and it is context sensitive language also and it is recursive enumerable language also on the other hand for infinite languages we cannot guarantee whether we can draw a dfa or express the language in regular expression format so an infinite language can be regular language or it may not be regular language